Hi everyone and welcome to Tween Waters Island Resort and Spa on beautiful Captiva Island. I'm Miriam Dotson with Island Hopper Songwriter Fest coming to you for another Songs from the Sand. It's actually going to be our last song from the sand until we actually kick off Island Hopper the festival which is starting September 16th and going through the 25th. So we have a great show planned for you today but first of course we do want to thank all of our partners who help make this happen. We want to give a big shout out to iHeart, Cat Country 101 71 BMI and of course you for watching. And we are so excited to introduce Brian Sutherland with us today, an Island Hopper favorite. So I should actually say welcome home. You're Thank a Southwest you Florida much. native. I am so happy to be back. Well, we are more happy to have you here. And look at this gorgeous backdrop. Right? This is the most Florida that we could do. We, we really... Is, we, it's everything that we could do. We got the sailboat place. The Pelicans came in on time. I mean, the water is beautiful. The sun's out. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. And we're going to hear some good music from you. So When's he showing up? Well, he, you're on, buddy. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's just us, and I don't play. Um, so thank goodness you're here. Uh, but hey, it's so good to have you back home. Is it weird being home right now? Are you hot enough? I mean, you're I, in Nashville. I'm, I'm warm enough. Yeah, no, I am warm enough. Thank you. I, I, it's not weird. It's great to be home. I, yeah. I haven't been back. Uh, I haven't been here since last year, so. Yeah, since it's Island Hopper? Since Island Hopper, okay. yeah. So it's, I'm kind of going summer for summer here. Yeah, it's a, it was a quick year, wasn't it, too? It seems like it's gone by a lot faster than 2020 did. Yeah, it, yeah. It, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot that's happened, too. Yeah. But um, so Island Hopper is, of course, what we are so excited to be you know, doing in, in a little bit, and we know we're excited to hear you play. Okay. What makes Island Hopper special for you besides this kind of being in your own hometown? Well, that is a big part of it. Uh -huh. You know, being being a, a hometown artist or, or a regional artist, that, that was a great honor. Um, for me, it's it's a it's the perfect size event, right? Mm -hmm. It's the perfect mm -hmm. ratio of great size audiences, listening audiences who care and they want to hear about songs. And then artists that know how to how to deliver the goods there yes. in a really cool way. Yeah. Um, and it's great for the artists because it's it's not necessarily a vacation, but not not mm -hmm. a vacation mm -hmm. too. You know, so mm -hmm. we get to spend time with each other. Whereas in Nashville, we're all running a thousand different directions. Yeah. And, we and, don't always get to see each other. And you are well traveled. You know, we were talking about before just other places you've played. And then, is there kind of a shoulder drop feeling when, like, for right now? I mean, we've got cameras on and stuff, but just this backdrop, the breeze is coming in. Does it make your performance different? <sighs> it's it's not as it's not hard. It's not a hard. <laughs> you know, yeah. you're not playing on a big stage with four thousand people looking at you. Like, I yeah. hope I got it today. Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's a uh, it's it's a little easier. It's a little more relaxed. And I I think it comes out in the music in a lot of ways. Yes. Especially if you if you grow up here, I think you write yeah. a certain way yeah you know what I mean yeah it's is it do you find it to be maybe a little more heartfelt or when you have other music or musicians around when you're here do you do you kind of feel like you want to be a tour guide at all or are you are you I, maybe yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe that's probably what you're looking I've been there and yeah. I've been there and I had a drink there yeah. and, you know yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah we've been in the crow's nest a few times right, here you right, know it's right. been a good time yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. and we're here on Captiva by the way so um, I know we, we said that at the beginning but if you want to book a room if you want to come to Island Hopper Fest this is an awesome place to be and you can go to our website to find those deals too so you can enjoy this and be right here and put your feet right in this spot. Right in the sand. Um, okay, so what song are you going to play for us first? Let's talk about it. Well, we were talking about it earlier. I, I'm going to do a song I've, I've never actually, it's new. It's a new song. Oh, okay. um, most people have, I mean, my wife's heard it. Okay. And my co-writers have heard it, but that's it. I, I wrote it with uh, Rob Ricotta and Devin Barker. Okay. Um, and it's called I'm Not Gonna Lie. All right. I can't wait to hear it. This feels special. It's like an exclusive. It's, it is an exclusive. Okay. Unless I mess it up, then I'm going to do a different song. <laughs> You're not going to. You can't mess it up. <laughs> All right. Let's hear it. This is called I'm Not Gonna Lie. You don't have to answer This can be off the record Well, I know we've been drinking It's got me wondering If you ever Think about us What we used to be You can say that you don't But if you're asking me I'm not gonna lie I still think about you all the time And there ain't a mile or a minute You don't cross my mind And I know I should tell you that I'm happy 
that you found you the love of your life and I'm doing all right but I'm not gonna lie now I can tell you I moved on some new girl from Tucson I could keep spinning this story I'm living Till every bit of truth is gone I could pour it on strong Try to make you believe If you want a little honesty Well, I'm not gonna lie And I still think about you all the time And there ain't a mile or a minute You don't cross my mind And I know I should tell you I could say that there ain't been a day you were the one that got away but I'm not gonna lie I still think about you all the time and there ain't a mile or a minute you don't cross my mind and I know I should tell you you found you the love of your life and I'm doing all right yeah I'm doing all right but I'm not gonna lie and I'm not gonna lie mm -hmm. I'm not gonna Thanks. Beautiful. Right. And we will head back. You're up. That was beautiful. Thanks. I love it. Appreciate that. Okay, your first official review. It should be award winning. <laughs> it was awesome. I didn't mess the words up. You didn't mess. Yes. There was no mess up at all. That was great. That was really beautiful. Thanks. Thank you very much. Um, so with collaborating on that one, you know, how long did that take from start to finish? Uh, one evening. Okay. Um, you know, we usually... We usually write either at someone's house or mm -hmm. uh, at, a, at a publisher's house, well, one of the publishing houses in Music Row. This one we wrote at a cigar bar ah. in downtown Nashville. Um, there's a, right across the street from the listening room, there's a little cigar bar. And we all, the three of us got together just, just to have cigars and hang oh. out and, and, and write. If, we, if it came to it, you know, it was just a hang. Yeah. And, uh, and that came out probably three, four hours. Really? Yeah. Ooh. That's yeah. well worth good it's, good three hours. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, it's a good time. That's awesome. So when did you first become interested in music? Was it something you always knew? Yeah. It's like in your blood. I, um, the story is I got a harmonica from Cracker Barrel coming home from Cracker Barrel, and I was like trying to play it in the back seat. And I, I don't know how old I was at that time, but I've, yeah. I've always, I was always singing. I was always imitating. Yeah. Um, and and I'm, I'm not... Uh, I'm not bashful. I'm very, I'm very out, uh, as it were, up rather. Mm -hmm. And um, so I started, I started cello and guitar the same day oh. to get out of PE um, <laughs> because PE in Florida Oof. is awesome. <laughs> um, so it's brutal. Yeah, let's be honest. <laughs> it is. It's it's rough. It's rough. You're sitting on the on the concrete and yeah. you're like cross legged and you're like I yeah. don't want to be here. And PE for people can just be like a nightmare. Some people love it and that's great for. And I am activity. not that person. But yeah, that wasn't you. Not, no, yeah. it did not, it did me no favors. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, so a okay. uh, guy with a ponytail came in. It was at Three Oaks Middle School in okay. in Fort Myers and yeah. and. Uh, uh, Jim Connect. He came in with a ponytail and said, "We're starting an orchestra. Who wants to come?" And I was like, "Does it get me out of this?" I'm in. I'm in. Let's go. <laughs> That's um, awesome. So, yeah. so learning those two instruments at the same time, mm -hmm. um, did it just come easy to you, or, or learning music? Did you know how to read music? I think it. I think it felt comfortable. Like, I don't want to say easy. It's nothing about it is easy. Right. Um, but it it 
it made sense. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> well, and that's what I that's where I was want to get in your heads because you make this look so easy. I find these you know songwriters and musicians, you make mm -hmm. it look easy. It comes natural to you. But when if someone goes and picks up a guitar or picks up an instrument, it's really not <laughs> as easy it, for it just the takes rest time. of the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's that's the benefit of learning it in in your youth is that you yeah. don't have like a job yeah. or you know a full right. full schedule. Like I I would sit on the edge of my bed and play right. forever. Yeah. You know, and that's all I did. Right. Um, <laughs> Like at the cost of friendships, like that's yeah. all that I did. Yeah. So, um, yeah, 20 years without friends, you'll get good at it. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Well, and now look at you're being, you know, you're able to play for a million people and they're all saying, man, I wish maybe I spent a little more time right. on something, right. you know? And I'm over here like, man, yeah. I wish I played golf earlier. Right. Like, <laughs> maybe I should have, yeah. That, but no, we're so glad you stuck with it. So you play harmonica, right? I'm going to count that. Well, I, I don't play harmonica. <laughs> Do I totally played play? a harmonica that's very different. Um, I play guitar, I play cello, I play a little piano, enough to get me in trouble. Oh, okay. Uh, I play mandolin and banjo and um, and bass, and that's cool. pretty much it. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's it. Yeah. That's it. Uh, is guitar your favorite though? Is that the number one? Um, if you could pick one. Or guitar has it? has paid mo the most bills, I would say. <laughs> guitar and cello have have kept the ha kept yeah. the lights on the most. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's cool. Um, okay, for your next song. Oh, I have another one. You've got to play another one yet. Yeah, we're going to okay. force you to do it. All Sorry. Because, right. <laughs> again, nobody wants to hear me play yeah. songs. <laughs> so you're on, buddy. All right. um, no, so um, let's set up your next song. What do you want to play for us? Let's and... do a story one. Okay. Is that okay? Of course it's okay, yeah. Um, Tell us about it. Well, we were talking earlier about this mm -hmm. is for Island Hopper, and yep. one of the best parts of Island Hopper is a story part of it. Yep. Um, this I wrote this with Devin Barker and Robert Cotta, same guys I wrote the last mm -hmm. song with, and uh, not at a cigar bar. And... Um, I, it comes from this. I'm the youngest of three, uh -huh. and from my, from early on, all I wanted to do was be older, be the be mm. a, an adult, and be able to do what you know whatever an adult could do. Right. And um, and I was very very impatient. I'm still very very impatient. <laughs> uh, but then I got a mortgage, and I was like, mm. yeah, youth youth was better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like what was the rush? You know? Yeah, right. I right. always want to tell people that. Like, no, you are right where you're supposed right. to be. Right. Enjoy rush it. it. Enjoy I know. It. It'll right. come. Don't worry. It'll come. Everything will come. Don't yeah. worry. Yeah. Um and uh and so the I that's where the idea stems from. The song's called Paper Airplanes. Okay. And um and it references a few different things. You know, when I was young you find five dollars in your pocket and you were like, I am the richest yes. human being on the earth. <laughs> um and uh and it references, you know, putting cards in your bike tires. Mm -hmm. my, my brother got a moped and I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. Oh, yeah. And so I put like cards in my yes, bike tires and do that. Yes, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. All right. So it's called Paper Airplanes. All right. Got what we wished for. Well, yeah, look at us now. Big old truck, a red brick house with a mountain view. Ain't you proud? Well, hell, we got everything. Checked off our wildest dreams, but to tell the truth, sometimes I wish I was you. Making paper airplanes, sipping on a bottle of Coke. Too young to buy a Harley, so we put ball cards in our spokes. And I know I can't go back to the way that it was before, but more or less, I just miss when less was more. Hey, kid, you don't know how good you got it. You find a fiver in your pocket and damn, you're rich. Don't you overthink it. The weight of the world will be there waiting. You miss the shots that you don't take, so take that chance and steal that kiss. And keep making paper airplanes, and sipping on a bottle of Coke until you save up for that Harley. Keep putting them ball cards in your spokes. And I know I can't go back. To the way that it was before, but more or less I just miss when less was more A little less hurry, a 
little more take my time and a little less worry so today I I made a paper airplane I spin on a coke gassed up my old Harley just to head on down the road and I know I can't go back to the way that it was before but more or less can live like I did when less was more. Whoa. Uh, that was awesome. So paper airplanes, of yeah. course, a nice Fun kid activity. You have a little one at home now. I do. I do so have a little one. How does that influence your writing, or um, can you get anything done? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, it's a it's an uphill battle sometimes. Yeah. No, she's she's amazing. She's mm -hmm. amazing. She's about to be two. Okay. And she's just her own little person, yep. and, and you know, there's nothing we can do about it. It's yep. great. I love yep. it. Yep, they're I love their it. own souls, and it's like. They don't hey, you really, got little ones. I do have little ones, and, and I'm embracing it, too, of realizing they don't want to do what you want to do sometimes, and they're not really, they're yeah. not you. She figured out the word no, yeah. and yeah. I was like, oh, crap. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> no, like, uh -oh. yeah, she's, she's awesome. That's she's awesome. awesome. She's keeping her mom and I up yes. and, and, and yeah. paying attention. Yeah. Does that change your you know, trajectory of you know, your career, what you're writing about, what you're thinking about at all? Or? I don't know. I, I try not to bring too much into like I try to yeah. bring stories and, and song ideas and titles and what I'm going through I try to bring that into a room but there are times where you're writing with people that aren't yeah. that don't have kids an artist that yeah. doesn't have children and and you you can't really right. show up with it you know yeah um, so it's it's yes and no mm -hmm. it depends on the song like mm -hmm. like I wrote a song for her um, this is too good of a segue not mm -hmm. to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, we, I wrote a song for her with another Island Hopper um, mm -hmm. alumni, Dave Fenley, who now has his own little little girl, mm -hmm. Annie, who's adorable. Um, and so in the in those moments, we sat down to write, like Ellie wasn't born yet, uh. and we uh, we were looking at the world and we just said, I I want you to have this song. I want you to know that there's so much beauty, Yeah. but you really got to look for it. You know, yes. good news does not get press. Um, it's true. And, uh, it's true. And, it, and if you just, if you don't give up on it, like, it's there. Yeah. You'll find it. You have to kind of keep your eyes open for it sometimes, You right? do. You got to look. It's you so know? easy. You got to be vigilant. To, yeah. And it's so easy to get stuck into the, the more of the negative or the why me or not seeing it. But a lot of what is so beautiful is free and what's right around us. That's it. All the time. That's it. So. Yeah. It's got to be something to put that in, into words and into song and then watch others receive it. What's that like? <sighs> humbling yeah. um, and and awesome uh -huh. you know it's 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 what you I mean that's the whole reason you do it you yeah. know you you write a song um, you write a song to share how you're feeling yeah and then when you see it wash over someone else yeah oh my gosh it's there's there's nothing there's nothing better yeah. there's nothing better to me well that's good well as a listener I want you to know how much we appreciate it. oh thank you I know you know you could carry your guitar anywhere and just play a tune but I mean for a music lover like me who just loves hearing it and yeah but getting to talk to you it's really well, a gift thank I hope you. you know it's it's only uh, it's only good if, if people listen yeah. you know it's you're a great listener yeah well thank good you. and I'm glad you're playing um so speaking of which what, what's gonna be our next one you got you got a well, you got, I'm going to give you a choice. Oh, you can either, okay. I'll either do the song for my daughter, okay. or I've got a, a fun, not a funny song, but like a, a little looser song about a guy who uh, le moves to Key West under auspicious oh, man. circumstances. These are good stories. Uh, I, I'm going to go the song for your daughter. Okay, we all talked right. about it. All right. Okay. <laughs> we'll do that the other one next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. This is called Beauty in the World. Aww. Sometimes it's a little scary. This place can be very tricky to navigate. Cause some folks they act a little ugly. Baby, just trust me. Love can conquer hate. So love, there's beauty in the world. Even if it's hard to find You got Jesus in your heart 
and your mother's eyes and if you could see what i see well, you know it's true there's beauty in the world because there's a beautiful girl like you well, i know that you're gonna feel little but you ain't brittle you're stronger than you think so honey keep your eyes open and don't you lose hope in the things that you can't see yet there's beauty in the world even if it's hard to find you got jesus in your heart and your mother's eyes and if you could see what I see, you know it's true. There's beauty in the world. Cause there's a beautiful girl like you. A beautiful girl like you. Get a little older and a whole lot bolder. Well, you're gonna go out searching for a place where you fit in, a brand new beginning. Don't you be discouraged, cause there's beauty in the world. There's a beautiful girl like you A beautiful girl like you Oh, my heart. Yeah, mine that too. Was I beautiful. know. I, it's, I'm, it's just hot out here, okay? There might yeah. be a little sweat going on. <laughs> you weren't supposed to make people tear up on this. Yeah. Come on, cry <laughs> yeah, on your that phone. Would, that would get, cry on your phone, <laughs> wherever you're watching this. <laughs> Our cameraman Ray is crying. Uh, but in all seriousness, that was Thank beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you. And what's so awesome is she can have that for her whole life. She can. You yeah, know? There's a. it's out. It's, in, it's on Spotify. She can listen. Anyone uh, can listen to it. And it's a... Uh, Every parent should download yeah. that right now and just awesome. have it have it there. And when you need those moments, because it can get crazy and chaotic. Yeah, that was beautiful. I, I, I just I like I want to play that at her wedding. Yeah, like if that if that is ever a thing that she needs a song for that, oh. I want to be there. Oh. I want to do that. Oh my gosh, so yeah. that's I can see it now. They do weddings here too. I mean, you can have it here. Welcome to Tween yeah. Waters, you know. <laughs> yeah. They do. Um, take deposits. <laughs> they'll take it now. I'm She's sure. two. She's you know? two. We don't want to. We just said we don't want to rush things. Okay. <laughs> there we go, doing it again, right? Um, but that was awesome. That was beautiful. Uh, all right, take it easy. Uh, all right. Okay. Pelican wants to hear another one. You want to hear another song, Pelly? <laughs> <laughs> he likes it too, or he's bawling too. Um, that was like right on cue. That, that was, was yeah. No, yeah, you're getting extra. Don't worry. <laughs> the birds are liking it all too. Um, no, I, I think when when you write songs in Nashville and writing here with your move there, is it weird for you to raise your child there, um, or no. knowing you were raised here, or no? I, I think uh, you know. I, I think it's the home is where the heart is, kind yeah. of thing. It's it's she she'll be. She'll be as loved and adored wherever we are. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, it's fun. It's fun for us. I, I didn't grow up like my family isn't musical. Mm -hmm. So, her being around music as much as she is already, um, I think, is really cool. It's cool to see. You know, she knows what a guitar is. She's singing yeah. songs. She's, yeah. she's participating in a really cool way. So, I don't know. I, I, I think it normalizes what I do. I spent yeah. a long time 
kind of having to explain my job to mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. before moving to Nashville of, of like, okay, so what is it you do for yeah. a living, you know? Yeah. And I'd be like, oh, I play music. And they'd be like, yeah, 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 no, I, I get you play yeah. guitar, great. What do you do for a living, you know? Yeah. Did you get so, a lot of pushback on that when you when not, you would tell people that or not do you pushback? Feel, it's yeah. it's uh it was just it's not you know it's not a it's not a uh, I'm not an accountant yeah. you know I'm not yeah. I'm not a, a normal normal nine mm -hmm. to five um, you know now it's a lot more uh, common to be a gig worker mm -hmm. or, or you mm -hmm. know it's make your own schedule you know work yeah. from home all that stuff but you know when I was in high school college that wasn't the case yeah. so. There's a little explaining. Or, yes, yeah, so or a lot of people say, oh, maybe, you know, have a plan B or, or save it for the side. Always, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. That always yeah. feels so discouraging. Uh, it can, <laughs> it can. It depends on how you interpret it, you know? It didn't, you know, you yeah. certainly did if well you're for you're vengeful, yourself. I mean, you can be vengeful. No, it's, it's, no it's, it's a thing. Yeah. It is. Okay, yeah, so so now I want to hear the song and the story about the Key West guy. What, okay. what went down? So, <laughs> so I've... Uh, this song it was written first of all. It's written by me and um, Jody Stewart Regner, who okay. is a, a Canadian woman that lives in in uh, Vancouver Island. Mm -hmm. Great writer, mm -hmm. um, and John Cirillo, who lives in Nashville. And it's about this guy. Um, I'm not gonna say any names, but, but it's mm -hmm. about this guy who got into a verbal altercation with his wife. Mm -hmm. She said, "Go to hell," and he moved to Key West. <laughs> and uh, then he he moved to Jamaica, okay. and. He didn't tell anybody, and then he came back, presumably to get his stuff, and we were like, "Man, I, th I thought you died." Yeah. You know. Yeah. He's like, "Man, I'm in a better place." And I said, "Okay, okay. that's a great song title idea." That is good. So this is called "Better Place." Okay. Um, it's again, this is out on uh, on all the streaming, and and please feel free to check it out, and uh, and just thank you for having me. Yeah. And, and oh my Ray goodness, we're thrilled here. to you have so you here. This is awesome. I Heart and all the yes, all, all the, the wonderful partners. sponsors. This is called "Better Place." All right. I knew it from the start She'd be the death of me But the fool that I am I fell head over feet Well, she had my blood pressure Shooting up so high I climbed that stairway into the sky First class with a champagne glass she can kiss my one way pass I'm in a better place With a drink in my hand Ain't no pearly gates But I got my toes in the sand A smile on my face I'm doing better than okay I'm in a better place yeah. Well I know she mourned my loss When she woke up to see our cold and empty king-size bed Where we both used to sleep Well, she always told me, man, would you go to hell? Well, I did her one better at a five-star hotel A golf breeze and an ocean front suite Now I can finally rest it in peace I'm in a better place the drink in my hand ain't no pearly gates But I got my toes in the sand A smile on my face, I'm doing better than okay I'm in a better place So you, you don't shed not a tear for me Cause I am in heaven living duty free Drinking spiced rum with an angel kissed by the sun who knew the afterlife could be so much fun? I'm in a better place With a drink in my hand, ain't no pearly gates But I got my toes in the sand uh, A smile on my face, I'm doing better than okay I'm in a better place Say you got a smile on my face Sitting on Captiva today I'm in a better place I like
like the little added cappuccino yes. today. Beautiful, you got to play to the sponsors. Of course, you know? <laughs> yes. And we should say thank you again to Tween for having us here. Thank you so this much, is Tween. a beautiful spot, and um, I know I had a great time, Brian. I thank you so much. Thank for you. All, just hanging out with us, and this was a lot of fun. And of course, if you want to see more of his music, come down to Island Hopper Songwriter Fest. It's September 16th through the 25th. If you want some more details, even on places to stay, maybe it's not here at Tween, but there's a place you want to find oh, around man. town. The festival does go to downtown Fort Myers um, and Fort Myers Beach as well. So we have some different yep. personalities. And I'll, I'll be in downtown this this yes. year. So I'm right. really excited to get get back yes. to downtown. Yeah, and... downtown has its own charm and vibe oh, too. Oh, yeah. Too, so. Yeah, well, come down. We'll, we'll hang out. Good. We'll have some fun. All right, awesome. We're looking forward to seeing you again. And if you want more details, go to islandhopperfest.com. And also, don't forget, download the app. I cannot talk about the app enough. It has really good details on there. It can map out where you want to go check out performances. You can find Brian on there, learn more about him. You can him. plan your whole itinerary. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's really cool, and it's all right there on one spot. So you can do that, too. But otherwise, we will see you when you get down here. And until next time, have a good one, guys. Take care. <laughs>